Hi there Capricorn, thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for February. There's some wonderful, delicious, sublime angles forging at the start of this month between Venus in your sign and Jupiter, the planet of expansion, and Mars in your sector of friendship. But all of this is not necessarily going to be a panacea for all your issues because Venus is also very closely allied to Pluto, also in your sign, through to the 11th of this month. This can give you an enormous desire around expressing your individuality. So if you're creative, it's great. But they are going to be clashing with Uranus, the planet of restlessness. And this can affect the emotional foundations or fabric of your situation. You could be attracted to someone who, though very alluring, might not actually be very good for you in terms of reinforcing your stability and security. There is also a new moon which occurs on the 8th and this can reinforce your financial situation but you need to be careful that you're not squandering money on reckless investments that are perhaps stepping outside that normally more cautious approach that you tend to take. There is however a wondrous development as we go into the second week of this month because Jupiter and Mars are combining and this is one of the best aspects of all. It's going to give you tremendous enthusiasm and new friends can really be exciting for you but don't be surprised if you're at the heart of things. Your natural leadership skills could come out too. Now Mercury does move out of your sign on the 13th into Aquarius followed by Venus on the 16th and that particularly the move of Venus can trigger some improvements to your financial situation. The trick is going to be in not uh, spending any money that comes into your situation unexpectedly in a way which is more on discretionary purchases rather than what's really necessary. But I do feel that there can be some kind of improvement from the middle of this month as far as your finances are concerned. Now the sun moves on the 19th into Pisces, which is all about your personal communication. And by the end of the month, the sun's combining with Neptune. Now if you do enjoy writing or reading, listening to music, uh, the arts in general, your creative powers are going to be absolutely incredible. But this can distort logic a little bit. So if you are talking about something that does require a more factual approach, then you do need to distill your imagination and your hopes from what can actually be uh, a reality. However, there is also an incredible link between Jupiter and Pluto in the last few days of this month as well. And this points towards having the courage to change things and to make transformation come about in your life in a way which may have been rather elusive as Uranus and Pluto have been clashing over the last four years. It's true that there is a full moon on the 23rd and this just suggests that if you're doing anything around contracts or travelling that a need to be very precise in your approach is going to be fantastically important. But don't underestimate the power that you're going to have, your individual spirit, personality and even sex appeal is going to have in February because it can be absolutely enormous. Thank you for joining me, good luck and goodbye for now.